Hi, welcome to Adfield. My name is James and I'm the Business Development Director and today we're looking at this, the Adfield AS100. This unit is fitted with a scrubbing system and typically it's ideal for installations in containers. However, today we're looking at it on the shop floor just to enable us to have a good look around the machine. I'm going to start off with the primary loading chamber. We've got a, a hinge door on the front that uh, provides easy access, perfect space to load waste bins in. The lid opens and closes and waste is destroyed throughout the day. Temperatures in this chamber are typically ranging from 6 to 700 degrees C. From the primary chamber are combustion gases from the process, then travel into our secondary chamber. The secondary chamber reburns the gases and typically you can work anywhere at 850 degrees C or up to 1100 degrees C depending on types of waste that we are disposing of. After the secondary chamber we go into the additional filtration system. So here we've got a unit that's manufactured completely from stainless steel. We're using water to quench the waste and wash out um, the contaminants in the gas room soil. From here we then go into the chimney. Um, where we have an ID fan that is inducing draft throughout the system to pull the gases from the combustion chamber through the stack and out uh, to provide a clean emissions. On the back of the machine, we have our control panel. We've got some of the burners for the combustion process. We've got our fuel field to our fuel inlet, which is a single 10 mil copper pipe. If we look at our control panel, it's a very simplified unit. It's designed for ease of use. We have a, a simple on and off switch. We have chamber temperatures for both the primary, which is where the waste is loaded. The secondary, which is where we're cleaning the gases and the exhaust up from the back here as well. These chamber temperatures enable us to do different things and they tell us different things about the process as well. So the primary chamber temperature is a variable, so we might want to change temperatures depending on what type of waste we can do. The secondary chamber is set, so the legal requirement for operating machines like this is that they hit uh, minimum temperatures and this ensures that we're, we're meeting those uh, minimum requirements. And the exhaust duct temperature sensor tells us the performance of our scrubbing system. So if um, we've got a particularly high temperature, we know we might have a problem with water and the, and the quenching of the system. On the front here, we've got um, uh, timer controls for um, each of the individual burners and a simple on and off switch for the whole system as well. The scrubbing system is, is, is all automated. Control panels are all on plug and play. The system is designed to go in really harsh environments and the simplicity of the system is really important when we come around to, to designing the, um, the system. If you'd like to find out about uh, this machine or the many more that we do, you can visit our website www.adfield.com or contact us on plus 44 for the UK, uh, 1543 517 280. Thank you very much.